After the successful return of the astronauts, there is a growing interest of the missions that follow. It is understood that there are two batches of six astronauts to carry out missions this year. And what are the missions for the Shenzhou 14 and Shenzhou 15 astronaut crew? Have any preparations have been done? I'll invite Ms. Huang to take this question. Thank you for your question. According to the task arrangement during the construction phase, the crews for the two manned missions in this phase have been selected. At present, the astronauts for Shenzhou 14 and 15 missions are in good condition and actively carrying out mission training and doing various preparations. Both crews will be in orbit for six months and the crew will be rotated at the space station for the first time. That means six astronauts will stay together at the same time for five to ten days in the station. And uh, that will be very big challenges for the system. The crew of Shenzhou 14 will cooperate with the ground to complete the assembly and construction of the space station, during which a single module assembly will in time become a three module assembly. In this process, nine formations of the assembly five rendezvous and docking missions, three separation and uh, two transposition missions will be done. For the first time, they will go into and stay in the Wentian and Mengtian modules and form a manned environment. They will work with the ground to do testing on the two-module assembly and three-module assembly and uh, uh, other tests. They will also, for the first time, use the airlock to carry out EV activities complete the unlocking and installation of 14 cabinets in the modules. The crew of Shenzhou 15 plans to carry out multiple EV activities to assemble, test, and debug the payload equipment in the module, control robotic arms to install payload facilities outside the module, manage and maintain the space station assembly, which would be three modules and two ships. Both crews will carry out scientific events for educational purposes and other public activities. And according to plan, they will also do dozens of experiments and engineering tests. They will collect flight control data and carry out health monitoring checkup and exercise and a large amount of work on platform inspection, equipment maintenance, verification, supplies management, and sta station management. In view of the flight mission during the construction phase, we have uh, made and done targeted training for the crews falling under eight categories so that all the a astronauts will be fully prepared in terms of their energy, physiology, their uh, mental state, among others. And we have carried out training on the following aspects. First, training on uh, the setting of the stationed state of Wentian and Mengtian modules and uh, the normal operation of each subsystem, their maintenance and repair, and on station and supplies management. Second, for robotic arm verification and verification of EVA through exiting airlock, training on maneuver, maneuvering the robotic arms, the simulated weightless water tank, EVA virtual reality, low pressure environment were conducted. Third, for the remote operation of rendezvous and docking and manual operation of experimental modules and force we have also carried out uh, the support training for them to stay in the mission. Fifth, we have carried out a lot of training for them to control the platforms and over a hundred engineering developing tests and experiments. They have been fully involved in the development of the Manus, and we have been increasing their ability to really do the work on the site. 
In addition, we have also strengthened personalized training and health support, and arranged for the two crews to communicate with the Shenzhou 12 and Shenzhou 13 crews many times. We will also further improve on the basis of the Shenzhou 13 mission. The astronauts will enjoy better long-term flight and in-orbit residence support to live healthily, work e efficiently, and complete their flight missions successfully.